Have you tried turning it off and on again? Welcome to Snap Shorts, a series of one or two minute videos just around the preview of Synapse Analytics. In today's video, we're keeping it really simple and we're just creating a Synapse workspace. So it's a preview, one of the preview workspaces. So let's get on and do it. So I'm just gonna log into Azure Portal. And then at the top in the search, type in Synapse. And so now we see this new Synapse, um, Azure Synapse Analytics workspace, and we see the previous one, the Azure Synapse Analytics, formerly SQL DW. So this is just the SQL pool part, effectively outside a workspace, it's just a data warehouse on its own, the GA product that kind of you know and love. And this is the new preview. So this is what we're gonna look at in this video. So we just click, click on it. And I'm just going to create. All right, give it the subscription and you see a message here. The Synapse resource provider needs to be registered. So all you have to do is click on that button. Now that can take a couple of minutes for it to kind of um, activate. And I can show you separately in a different video what's actually happening in the background. So we'll create a new resource group and we'll call this uh, Synapse Resource Group, imaginatively. We'll give it a workspace name and we'll call this um, Synapse um, MTM Demo. So unlikely anyone's going to pick that. Okay. Only got a few, oh, we're getting more regions. So um, it was only a handful at the very beginning, but now we've got more regions we can put it in. So I'm just gonna use, well, why not North Europe? Um, it's my subscription. Now, uh, I need to give it a storage account. So I'm gonna give it a new storage account and I'll call this my um, Synapse NPM demo storage. And then a file system, so we'll just call this um, demos. All right, and then so this bit here is basically just saying now grant me pr privileges, um, the storage blob data contributor on this storage account that's going to get created, and then this bit here is saying that the Synapse workspace now we'll have access to that storage account. Uh, pretty much that's, that's hard. That's a hard question, really. That's it. Um, a storage account name, you know, a resource group name, where you want to put it, um, the file system name, the account name. Networking, right. We need to have a, a SQL user. Now I'm going to put, um, for this, I'm going to put something at the beginning. I'm going to enable a managed network um, and I'm going to allow connections from all IP addresses. This is just everyone can access it. And I'll show you when we create the workspace what's happening behind the scenes. I'm not creating any tags because I am a lazy individual and that's it. It's going to create our workspace. Oh, and so we note up here, we can see the cost of on demand, which is quite nice. We can see it there. And then choose create and there's also an update to the calculator all right that looks like our workspace has been created now we just need to log in so go back to our home we should be able to see our workspaces we can see our new workspace all right the next video we'll dig into how to use the workspace, how to create SQL pools, how to create Spark pools, etc. All right, bye.